saying, let us beware of the snare of the fowler? You did. We had no evil intentions. Why were we caught in Satan's net? Because we are mortals. But listen, I quoted from the book incorrectly. It reads here of our Lord. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Deliver us, Christian, from this? Yes, faithful, he will deliver us. It is a promise of his book. And not one of his promises has ever been broken. He delivered me from my strong enemy. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. It was a great deliverance, a time for joy and wonderment. But then, from across the nearby hills, came the sounds of Vanity Fair. Go. You are in the world, but not of the world. It is common among men. I said in my heart, enjoy pleasure, and behold, this also is vanity. I made great works. I built houses. I planted vineyards. I gathered silver and gold. Vanity Fair. So like so much of the world, where people look to shallow laughter and the dust of things to sham and shadow for their satisfaction. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. What shall we do, Christian? I think it's best to keep quiet. of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Whom do you yield as of servants to obey, his servants you are, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness.
in Vanity Fair, for all its wickedness and wantonness, lived a young man by the name of Hopeful. How dare they stand in the presence of the prince, uh, not of our kingdom. In all his young years, Hopeful had never seen anyone defy the prince. But neither had he seen anyone quite like these two strangers who had so suddenly appeared. Give me the book. Does this book command you not to bow down before me? Does it? It does, sir. <laughs> Shall we burn the book? Burn the book! Yes, burn the book. <laughs> yes, burn the book. yes. Burn the book! Or shall we burn them? I condemn you both to be burned. Burn As the clamor of the throng echoed in the distance, crying out for the burning of the two pilgrims, a strange fire came into Hopeful's heart, fire and hunger, and the courage to seek out whether there really might be a better way. followers of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. Bring the torch. Let him burn. Your name is Hopeful. It suits you well. For many years, my heart was full of an empty hope. But now, through your book, I have the hope of eternal life. 